In this video, we're going to install Pro Tools 12 on our Surface Pro 3 to see how that installation goes and see if we can get it running and maybe do some basic things. All right, so here we are on our Surface Pro 3. This is the i5 model. This is the one I got from Surface Pro Audio. Go check out that website. Go check out uh, Molten Music Technology, the YouTube channel as well. Shout out for those guys. So we've already downloaded Pro Tools 12.4 from our Avid account. Let's go ahead and install it and see how it installs on our Surface Pro 3. All right, go ahead and click install here. Okay. And let this stuff install. All right, now our Surface Pro 3, I'm outputting this screen onto an external monitor uh, via HDMI and this mini display port. Our Surface Pro 3 is also in the Surface Pro 3 dock. That's going to provide me with additional USB ports because as you probably know, Pro Tools is going to require an iLock, okay? So we only have one USB port on the Surface. Now this might work as long as we use something like ASIO for all for our interface, um, because if we're using something like, say, the 11 rack, you know, we, we, we're gonna, at the minimum, we'll need two USB ports. So it's in the dock. So I have several USB ports on the back. And uh, that way, I, if I want, I could always uh, use an interface, USB interface here on the actual surface. So I'll just let this stuff install and uh, we'll be back when it's done. OK, so let's go ahead and go through some of these prompts. You know, so far, everything is pretty much, you know, just like a normal computer install there with touch if that works yeah okay so now more stuff to install and we'll be back when it's done well all right it actually looked like it installed there so we'll click finish now of course we're going to need to restart uh you know before we can launch it but i'm not going to do that right yet because before we launch it i'm going to need since we're not using an interface so i won't really be able to you know throw audio in there um i'll need some sort of instruments. So I'm going to go ahead and install our first air instrument bundle, uh, both or all three of those with expand. So we'll go ahead and install these just like you would on any, you know, normal computer, we'll just do it on our surface here. Now, of course, well, you know, one of the drawbacks of using Pro Tools on a something like a surface is we don't have a secondary hard drive. You know, we do have the SD card slot or micro SD card slot that, you know, of course, we could use that. I think, you know, perhaps, you know, to hold like libraries, although I'm not sure how that would work. That's something we, we might try in the future. And of course, the other drawback would, you know, be things like iLock. Of course, that's specific to Pro Tools. There are other DAWs that don't require an iLock. Um, you know, I guess we could use Pro Tools first, and uh, which we might try some other time. Use Pro Tools first since we can actually have the authorization on the computer. Now, let's go ahead and install this now. Okay, so we have restarted. We've installed the Air Instrument Bundle, uh, all three of them. Let's try to launch Pro Tools 12. Of course, it's going to ask us for our iLock if it launches, which it should. There's our wonderful Avid Application Manager. You all know how much I love that. And there we go. So, um, you know, for the time being, I'll just use the slot here on the surface. I could plug it into the back if I wanted to. Let's just see how it works. And this USB 3 port, if it works, which it doesn't even look like it's going to work, apparently. Oh, there we go. Got to install the device driver, and there we go, coming up. Yes, Pro Tools HD, running on a Microsoft Surface. How crazy is that? Now, you know, we don't have an interface connected right now at all. We're going to see if it will let us use the Windows audio. Okay, so that answers my question. We'll just hit OK. And then, of course, we have an error. And we don't have an audio device, so I'll have to install ASIO for all really quick. So let's go ahead and quit out of here. And I'll install ASIO for all. Just come here and install it. This is real fast. ASIO for, for all is pretty great. You know, sometimes Pro Tools will let you run... Uh, WAS API, but apparently it's not going to let me do it right now. All right, so we have it installed. It's really that quick. It's really cool. Now let's try this again. And there we go. We can see ASIO for all came up. Look at that. Here we are. Pro Tools HD on a Microsoft Surface. Um, let's just call this test. All right. These settings are fine. Let's hit create. 
Okay, there we go, guys. Look at that. Pro Tools on the Surface. Using my finger there. Show all controls. And I don't want synchronization on there. Pretty cool. Oh, it looks like I just created an audio track by double clicking there on accident. So we'll go Control Shift in. Let's go for some uh, stereo. And we'll go, I want to uh, instrument tracks. Let's just say four, just for fun. Create that. All right, cool. Uh, let's see. Using the smaller keyboard is kind of get used to that. Pull out my surface pin here. See if we can. Uh, there we go. Yeah, this is much better here. Okay, so I'll set the rest of this up some other time. All my preferences of that I like, but we need to see if you know this even works. Uh, even remotely. So let's see if we can actually load up a plug in here. Air EQ. Okay, I don't know why that happened. Not sure if I hit something or it just resized. Okay, for some reason it resized everything really small when I opened this air plugin. Now the uh, resolution on this screen is higher than uh, 1920 by 1080. Maybe if I change my resolution, it uh, would not do that. I'm guessing that's the problem or the issue. Not necessarily a problem, just uh, the little bug there. I'm on Windows 10, by the way, which is completely unsupported. You know, this Surface Pro 3 is, would actually technically be supported. Uh, you know, it's an i5, which is what's also, which is, you know, what's required. And, uh, you know, it's got 8 gig of RAM. Let's, let's try to load up another uh, plugin. Let's go for an instrument, see if we can actually make some sound. Uh, we'll go for something like... Uh, We'll go for something like, I guess, a vacuum, perhaps. And there it is. Pull this over here, and... There we go. <laughs> We're actually making sound here on a Surface Pro 3 with Pro Tools. That's pretty cool. All right, so that's about it for this video. Just wanted to see if it would work, and as you can see, it does. Uh, there will be a lot, a lot more to come on this in the future. This video is just to sort of get started and uh, see if it was possible, see how it works. And as you can see, it works uh, just fine. Let's go here to Notes. Oops, wrong one there. Notes. Let me, well, I'll just use my pen to grab my pen. You see, let's increase this so I can actually see what I'm doing here. Put in notes, the finger there. Obviously, this is not ideal at this point. We haven't got everything set up. But uh, drawing in notes. Pro Tools is clearly not, not uh, optimized for touch. That's clear. But it's possible. So <laughs> let's play back our masterpiece here. <laughs> okay okay that's enough of that okay so that's it for this video on installing pro tools on a surface pro 3 or surface pro 4 and just you know seeing how everything worked uh you know just real quick there again make sure you subscribe to this channel and there will be much more to come with pro tools on a surface but it's pretty cool that it actually does work that is awful but it is cool that it works